The figure. In Floor 1, he was the main antagonist, but in Floor 2, he strangely became a side character. This had me asking, why are the devs keeping him around? We know why Seek was kept from Floor 1 because of his large boss fight in Floor 2, but for figure, we have no idea. So I did some digging and found out that the figure will be corrupted, and I even found how Floor 3 will end. Let me explain first with Floor 2's entities. In Floor 2, we saw the Giggles, Grumbles, and the Gloom Bats. Let's focus on the Gloom Bats first. When the devs were making them, they strangely gave the figure a spotlight, which we know is for attracting them to him so he can eat them. But why add this detail if the figure was taking a backseat anyways? Well, the detail that the figure eats implies that the figure grows and develops similar to animals, which also implies that the spotlight he has would be from evolution to become better fit to the Doors environment. Now, this might not seem important, but let's look at the only other organic creature in Doors, the Giggles and Grumbles. We know that the Giggles grow over time and become Grumbles, but in between that stage, as other theorizers point out, they become the teenage giggles seek corrupted to become screeches. Now you might be asking why is this all important? Well what if I told you the whole giggle to grumble life cycle might just be the same cycle that the figure goes through? Think about it, they're both organic creatures that need to eat to survive. They both are made out of weird flesh stuff, and they both evolved around floor 2. I believe that from all of this, the figure we see in game is effectively a teenager because he isn't too big but also not too small. Now you might be saying why are there no kid figures or adult figures in Floor 2 then? Well, to explain, we have to notice that the figure locked himself in the library, as confirmed by the devs. At first, you might think that it was because of the noise and him wanting it to be quiet. But if that was the case, why is he still following us in Floor 2? So from this, I concluded that he locked himself away because he was hiding from something. And I believe that that something is the Grumbles. Think about it. They both evolved in the same area, and we know the Grumbles would have to be eating something to still be living. So what if before the events of the game, the Grumbles ate all of the figures? Figures, and the one we see in doors now was the last remaining figure left. This would also explain why the figure kills the giggles even if they don't make noise near him because the figures and the grumbles would hate each other. But that had me asking why doesn't Seek just corrupt the figure now? I mean he corrupted Queen Grumble when she was outside of her natural environment so why didn't he corrupt the figure in floor 1 or floor 2? Well from what we know about the figure we also can conclude that there's a possibility that at least one of the other figures would have escaped and there's no other place for them to escape from floor 2 than up to the castle in Floor 3. What if Seek isn't going for the library figure because his main goal was to get the adult figure in the castle? And to do that, he would have to corrupt Queen Grumble first so he could stand a chance. And when we lured Queen Grumble out of Floor 2, he took his only chance to corrupt her, which is why we see him at the end of Floor 2. But you might be asking, why doesn't Seek just corrupt the figure from the library? Well, to explain, let's look at the Screeches. We can assume that the Screeches are Seek corrupted giggles, but judging by how we don't see corrupted Grumbles, these these screeches don't grow up after they are corrupted. And because the figure isn't an adult yet, if Seek corrupted him, he would stay smaller, giving Seek much less power. But this made me question why would Seek really want to corrupt an adult figure? And also, if the adult figures were in Floor 2, why would they run away if they were more powerful than the Grumbles? But past that, the adult figures would be way too big for the mines. So to answer these questions, I concluded that when the figures become adults, they leave the mines to go to the castle and the forest so they have more space. However, as the Grumble population grew, they would start to eat the child figures, causing them to flee. These figures would go to the surface and wander around, eventually residing in the castle to find peace and quiet. However, because there was no food for the figures, their population died out slowly with the only surviving figure being the one we see in the library. But because of how long this would take, Seek would become unaware that the figures have died out. So in Floor 3, when he tries to find an adult figure to corrupt, he will only find a large skeleton in the middle of the castle. Seek, however, would not give up on the sight of this and would corrupt the skeleton and use it as the boss fight of Floor 3 as a last-ditch effort to corrupt us. The adult figure figure will be unlike the regular figure we face off against, and will act like a huge titan destroying everything in its path to kill us. This would end with us killing the corrupted figure and maybe even seek and then moving on to floor 4. But what do you guys think? Watch this to see where the grumbles come from.